Hi Virgo, welcome to Angela 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A couple things before we get started. Uh, one, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box if you'd like to check that out. This will be for the person on your mind. Secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, addresses are below in the description box. Please know that I'm not doing personal readings. So if anybody reaches out to you and asks, um, you know, pretending to be me, it is not me, okay? Because there is uh, someone on Instagram copying my accounts. So just make sure you look at the address very carefully if you decide to uh, follow me on Instagram, all right? So, you know, the cards just keep dropping out. That one flipped over, so we'll take it. And we're going to do one more. Okay. Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have a message for you. I am thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, so somebody is definitely thinking about you, the person on your mind. Um, you did get the secret admirer card, okay, which says here someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So Virgo, okay, so somebody here has not been showing you how they truly feel about you. I'm also getting with this energy, I feel like this person is watching you, okay, so they may be watching you on social media or maybe you live in the same community or work together, but this person's watching you. Even if you haven't heard from this person or there hasn't been contact, um, you know, this is someone who is definitely watching you. You have here also criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness, love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So that may be a specific message for someone, but I'm picking up that there could be some sort of disagreement. Uh, there could be an argument here or maybe you and this person may not be on the same page at this time. You also have here new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So there is a new beginning here that's starting for you. I'm going to say I'm also picking up the energy even though this is the person on your mind. I feel like there also possibly for some of you, there could be somebody else all right, that uh, maybe has a crush on you or somebody who uh, definitely admires you and is watching you. So we'll see what comes out in the tarot. Maybe some of you are making the decision here to take a different path because I know in the Virgo love readings that I do, I have been picking up new energy for you as well along with this person. So let's... Um, now, for some of you, this could be somebody new, right? If you met somebody new, but we'll see with the tarot here. Let's get a few shuffles. I want to let everyone know that this reading may not resonate with every Virgo out there. Take uh, the messages that are meant for you. Know that roles and energies can be reversed, okay? If this reading doesn't resonate with you, you can check out um, your other placements, your signs, your moon, your rising, or your Venus. Playlist is in the description box along with, you know, that contains all of my videos. All right, so let's get started here, Virgo. Let's see what Virgo needs to know. Thank you, Angel. Okay, God, your cards just keep popping out. You have the High Priestess. The Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Interesting here. Okay, and you have the Justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra. <clears throat> You also, we also have here Aquarius, Gemini energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, strong Cancer, and strong Pisces. So what I'm getting here, uh, Virgo, like I said, you could even work with this person, 
but I feel like this person has been watching you, like I have said here. I feel here too, for some of you, this person could live at a distance uh, from you. There could be some travel distance. But this also can represent, like I said, if there was some sort of argument or the two of you weren't on the same page. I feel like you've got communication coming in from this person, right? To try and get past whatever uh, has been interfering here in the connection. Now you have here the High Priestess and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this person's intuition is really telling them that things could work out between you and them. This is somebody too. This could be somebody too who works a lot. All right. So, um, they could be thinking about you, right? Feeling, still feeling a connection, a spiritual connection with you. But there but could be something that's going on in their life that they're working towards that maybe um, they're not sharing with you, okay? Something here that is unknown to you. But we're going to see when we clarify the situation. You have uh, the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. So I feel like this person is coming towards you with communication. Like I said, some of you, there could be distance here. All right. So this could be somebody communicating from a distance or maybe this person. I'm going to say this person could even travel for work, right? Or maybe you travel for work. Remember, roles can be reversed here. But let's see what you got here as well. You have the Ace of Swords and you have the Three of Pentacles. I definitely get here. It's interesting because you have the New Beginning card and you have the Three of Pentacles. And like I said, there could be more than one person in the mix. There's three people here. Like I said, there could be a new person coming in for you as well. We'll see when we clarify the cards. But I feel like there's a new beginning here. There's communication. This person, your person on your mind is definitely coming towards you. I feel there's an energy here of if they have been silent and they haven't said much here, they're coming in pretty quickly here. Okay. Wanting to work on things, hoping that you, the two of you could have a good conversation. I feel like this person's hoping to get past whatever in the past um, was, you know, holding this connection back. And it may be that you and this person weren't on the same page about something. Now, bottom of the deck here, you have the justice. Look at that. Justice, the wheel, oh, wow, and the star card. So there's definitely some sort of shift I feel here going in your favor. Um, maybe you felt you haven't been treated right from this person here, but I feel things are about to change. Okay, so this may be something that you've been hoping and wishing for. So, wow, really nice energy. You also have strong Aquarius energy there as well. So let's clarify the cards. So I'm going to clarify Virgo, and then what I'm going to do is after I clarify, I'm going to see what the potential is here. Then I'm going to uh, dig a little deeper and ask what your person is thinking or feeling about you. And then I'll take it to the extended, which we'll talk about uh, more about what their upcoming actions are, their intentions, uh, love notes from your person, and guidance. All right. I'll even pull new love because I feel there's a possibility to of someone else around you, but they, this just can be this person here that is, you know, they haven't really truly opened up how they feel about you, okay? So they may come across um, as somebody maybe a bit closed off emotionally, but they definitely are hiding their feelings for you, I feel here, okay? Why is the High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles here? You have the Two of Swords. You have the pa Palace of Cups. And you have the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Swords. All right. Okay, yeah, again, that's what I was saying here. I feel like this person has definitely been spying on you. You're dealing with somebody who's very indecisive with their feelings and their emotions. This person holds back, I feel, emotionally because of fear. They're very guarded, just like I was saying here. They're coming across as the Queen of Swords. I'm going to say here, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy, okay? It can be too. Maybe you... Um, 
set your boundaries with this person, pulled back your energy. That could be why this person I see here coming in very quickly here. But I also see here your person is very guarded, very closed off emotionally, which makes them indecisive. And that's why they hold back here. Let's clarify now why the Knight of Swords and the, uh, uh, gosh, Six of Swords is here. Why is the Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords here? Okay, so that's why this person hasn't opened up. That's why they're hiding their feelings. They may be somebody who um, uh, buries themselves in their work to try and forget you, right? But they can't forget you, okay, because they're spying on you. Why is the Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords here, please? Why is the Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords here? You have the Ace of Swords. Ooh. A lot of cards here, but look what dropped out again. The wheel, ace of swords, five of wands. Now remember you have ace of swords here twice. The sun card, yeah. So I do feel like there's something here where the two of you weren't on the same page. Now it can be what you want out of the connection or the relationship. It can be there was an actual argument. Uh, do pick up there could be other people involved uh, that's not going to be everybody's scenario but look at that here's the nine of swords again so i feel this person is definitely coming towards you right wanting to talk wanting to work things out again you have the ace of swords right they may be bringing clarity to a situation all right trying to work out um in the work out between the two of you in the area of where you know there was some sort of disagreement or maybe there was somebody from the past here and now they're moving on from this person i see that energy as well can be also just you and this person you know maybe the timing wasn't right or you weren't on the same page or you wanted different things you also have here the sun card strong leo energy okay so this person's hoping that you and them can get past uh, what has held you back in the past and they're hoping that there is potential okay for more growth here in the connection let's clarify now uh, the ace of swords and the three of pentacles thank you angels and spirit for your guidance why is the ace of swords and the three of pentacles here please all right you have the ten of cups you have the lovers strong gemini five of coin bottom of the deck here you have the two of coin okay so i feel like this um i, I want to tell you when the five of coin dropped out i heard this person wants to work on things with you i heard where they fell short in the connection okay because there was something definitely lacking here with this five of coin and the two of coin so you may be feeling um like this has been going back and forth or this person has been going back and forth but i feel here that this person now may be feeling alone they may be feeling left out in the cold you know and interesting here you got the justice so if if you were feeling that way i feel like this person is now feeling that way that's why they're they're rushing in here and i want to say here too because like i said i feel like they're doing some spying on you they may see that somebody else is interested in you that could be too with the secret of Meyer and picking up that energy as well now you have the ten of cups you have the lovers and you have the five of coin okay so I feel this person definitely feels a very strong connection with you. They feel happy with you. But now I feel like they're feeling alone. Okay. Now it can be this person. I'm going to say here, maybe somebody who's a bit insecure, right? Maybe somebody here who maybe I'm hearing like in their life, maybe they lacked emotional support from someone important in their life. That could be here why they are closed off emotionally. Uh, Spirit just gave me that message, so that may not be for everyone, but that could be here why your person, I feel they're a little bit insecure, All right? So let's uh, see what the potential is here, Virgo. For you and this person and then i'll ask what they're thinking and feeling about you okay so you have the 
Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they've had time to really reflect on things and think about things. King of Swords. Yeah, there's that, that person here. Definitely showing up strong uh, air energy or they have air in their chart. And you have the Death card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Six of Pentacles. So you have the Six and Seven of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's had time to think about things, right? Somebody who's had time to think about things. Somebody here who um, I feel you may have invested time, a lot of time with this person in the past. Or, you know, this could be somebody here who now they're realizing that they do want to put in the work here. Because you do have the Six, the Seven of Pentacles. And look at that. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Pentacles, your energy there, Virgo. So I feel like you've got somebody here who's coming back around. Look at that. And then the Five of Pentacles. So they're feeling left behind, right? They may be feeling that you're moving on from them. So I feel like this is somebody here who's coming back around and they're going to make the effort here. I see the King of Swords and the Death card, right? Lots of communication I see. So this is somebody I feel where there is definitely a new beginning, right? There's a new beginning here if you want it. This person is going to reach out to you, okay? So there's definitely an energy here of there may have been an ending between you and this person, but there's a rebirth here, an opportunity for you and, th and this person to work on things. I want to say though, you know, you got, you have the two of pentacles and you have the six of pentacles. Some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who, um, you may be on and off with this person because there may have been somebody in the mix. You'll know if that's your story or not, but I did pick up that energy as well. Let's see here. What is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? What is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? Okay, so you have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Tower, yeah, the Page of Pentacles, okay, bottom of the deck, yeah, like I said, they've had some time to really think about things. This person, I feel like this person may work a lot, they probably spend a lot of time alone. Um, I want to say here... I feel here, you got the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Tower, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like, um, I feel like this person here is not content where they are. Like I said, I feel like they may feel that you're moving on. They may feel that there is somebody around you uh, that is interested, and I feel that with this tower here, I feel that something else may have happened in their life. Maybe they maybe they walked away, maybe you walked away, but I feel since then here with the tower, something happened here. Now, it could be they just had an epiphany, but something maybe fell apart in their life after, you know, the two of you were together or during the, t the time that the two of you were together, but they're not feeling satisfied. They're not feeling content here. And I feel that uh, there's a message, okay? There's a message coming through here to you. Now, I want to say here too, uh, like I said, I feel this message is them kind of reaching out, right? They're going to see if you're receptive here with that three of pentacles. They're going to send you some sort of text message, uh, you know, or some sort of message, you know, through email or um instant messenger, social media, something like that, okay? So I feel that there is potential here for you, Virgo, if you want it. I'm going to take it now uh, deeper in the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.